Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, another video from my truck, sitting in the ferry line, waiting to get over to Vancouver Island to shoot a couple matches this weekend. I've already spoken about the federal election and how disappointed I am and why it doesn't truly reflect the West, but uh, a couple things I mentioned on the previous video I want to expand on here. First off, I think that splitting the vote politically was bad for the Conservatives because we only have about 50% of the population in Canada and when we split that, we lose that. Now in the uh, last election on Monday, last week, yeah, there was uh, nearly 40% of the people voted for Conservatives. Yeah, only about 31% voted for the Liberals. Now that Conservative vote, however, was split between two parties the uh, People's Party of Canada and the Conservative Party of Canada. I think that the People's Party of Canada vote would have made a difference and would have carried the day. And as a result, we're going to be living in a society of fewer and fewer rights. We're going to uh, see our property taken away from us. And uh, we are essentially marching towards totalitarianism. I challenge anybody to make a reasonable civil argument opposed to that uh, because if you look at all of the things governments have done throughout history, if you look at how the Canadian government is passing laws to restrict our freedom of speech and passing laws for censorship on the internet and passing laws to essentially steal property from law-abiding citizens, that's just going to continue. They're using all of the excuses that all of the tyrannical governments in history have used to disarm people, to curtail their freedom of speech, and we really shouldn't put up with that. And uh, as a result, I, I don't feel that Western Canada is well represented in the Parliament of Canada. I do believe that it's time that we, that we cut our ties. I believe that the best option for us is becoming a state in the United States. Uh, British Columbia, I think, should become the 51st state. It's in their constitution that they will accept Canada if Canada ever tried to merge with the United States. As a whole, I would prefer that. I would prefer that Canada as a whole merged with the United States. Piecemeal is, is fine as well because eventually it will lead to that especially if Alberta goes first. If Alberta goes first, financially Canada will fall apart. Alberta goes, then there's, a, there's not nearly as much money going to the eastern provinces and Quebec as there was before in transfer payments. And British Columbia is uh, cut off from the rest of Canada. I think that British Columbia would follow quite quickly if Alberta left and became the 51st state. And, and there's a huge movement in Alberta for that. I, I don't think that the rest of the provinces in Western Canada would be far behind. I do believe they would clearly leave and join the United States as well. I don't see the East staying. I don't see Quebec staying. And finally, Ontario. So I think it's only a matter of time. It's one of the huge benefits for Canada merging with the United States is protection of our economy we would create a super economy. It would benefit the United States. It would benefit Canada. Right now we have a huge problem with China and uh, Russia being very aggressive on the world stage. China is threatening our, our food security and our energy security. And Russia is also threatening our energy security. There are two really huge rivals in the world. China and Russia, and um, they are empire builders. Whereas uh, I don't see the merging of Canada and the United States as an empire builder, it uh, just makes uh, a lot of economic sense. Currently, in the West, we're just not truly represented well in our current political system. It is too one sided, it is skewed very left. It really supports one party over another, the Liberal Party of Canada, because of where a lot of the seats come from. So I do believe that um, 
we should start a movement to become a state in the United States. I think that it would be beneficial to us. And another really important reason would be independence. Whereas the federal government of the United States, although it doesn't always act this way, is there to support the states. The states are essentially independent entities. That's why they call them states. Whereas provinces are there to support the federal government. So it's kind of the reverse. Also, their system of electoral uh, college votes that does keep a balance. They are reallocated every time there's a census prior to an election. You don't get this imbalance where more uh, seats in parliament go to Quebec per population or Eastern Canada per population. It does, uh, it does make a lot more sense. Governments exist primarily to protect the rights of the citizens in a free society. And that's what happens in the United States. The Constitution is the primary document. And although we have a constitution in Canada and we have a charter of rights in Canada, it's not the same. We basically serve Canada as opposed to Canada serving us. I think that's um, completely different in the United States. I do hope that we can get a movement off the ground to become a state in the United States. I think that would be far more beneficial to the citizens of Western Canada, to the citizens of Canada as a whole, because I, I do believe that Canada, eventually, all of Canada will be part of the United States. I think that's a benefit. Uh, it would benefit the world as well. It would be a huge benefit for freedom and Western culture and Western society. So uh, let me know what you think. If you disagree, great, that's fine. Make a reasonable civil argument in the uh, comments below you're abusive well you're going to get ignored obviously keep it civil and make a comment below thanks for listening